Hey, guys, what may? Listen, dickheads, I told ya, the next episode was chicken burger, Sydney's best chicken burger. So, this is the OG Frangos, in case you don't know, in case you think your Frangos at Bella Vista or whatever bodgy suburb you're from is the proper Frangos. This is the proper Frangos, what you see here, the back entrance, only for OGs. Anyway, we're starting here. Uh, we're going to Nash Brothers, is that what it's called? Cameraman, Super Nash Brothers in Waterloo. Chicken burgers galore. We're going to Canterbury Kebabs, right? Remember I went there and I didn't like their kebabs. So what they said is we're not famous for our kebab, we're famous for our chicken burgers. We should be called Canterbury Chicken Burgers. So we're going there and then we're finishing at Dougie's Grill in Bankstown. Yes? Dougie's Grill in Bankstown, brother. That's that's the path we're following. Anyway, you wait here. You don't get to come in the shops anymore because like I said, when I go in with cameras, they make the food extra good. And I want to see it like for what it is. So this is why I don't go in with cameras anymore. So you just wait around the corner, you just keep Ilche and I'll come out with the bundles. That's how it goes from now on. You get into the car park, you get, you get into the car park, I'll get chips with her, right? So we'll see how their chips go too, right? You just hide in the car park somewhere, bro. Right? But in there, in the gap of the cars. Come on, duck down. You red hot, duck down. What are you on day? Brother, I'm excited. I am excited. Let's go park up in some random people's flats. Where's the closest houses, brother? Let's car. These look like houses. These look like close enough to houses. Lad, I'm Jade. I was in there, you know what I was thinking? Because I got the Portuguese drink. A few months ago, I was in Portugal, lad. I can't, I can't decide whether Portugal or Greece was the best place that I've ever been to. I was in Lisbon. Wow. Anyway, this is going to be hectic. The inner west is so noisy, bro. Construction, aeroplanes, mate. How am I gonna shoot a show here? What is that? What is that? Yagamisu! Hey, Yagamisu! What are you doing? Hey, try to pop out, lad. I've just started saying things in Greek, right? Close this ring, lad. He was off, brother. <laughs> He tried to pop his head out. Who's eating, who's eating burgers on my house? Oh, doorstep. I started full swing. <laughs> He's off, lad. Bruh, you know we start in the with the franchises, right? I always start with a, a good franchise, right? Sometimes they're shit. Let's not say always good. But anyway, Frank, Frango's was the franchise we're starting off with. It's going to be hard to beat, brother. I'm not going to lie. Look at this, Oizis. Brother. This is gonna be hard to beat. We all know Frangos is the gun. Their sauce, see this? This sauce, this is essentially what is on the burger that makes the burger unique. It's their combination between the mayo they use and their home done chili sauce. Mm. This whole episode, I'm gonna have food and sauce in my beard, all right? That's just the way it is. In between shoots, I will clean it. Other than that, get used to it, mate. Wow, what a burger. Mm. Look how my sauce is dripping everywhere. Let me eat it, bro. I'm starving. Wow. Wow. Bro, it's like, it's lemon and mayo, um, chili and mayo, but it's like lemony. It's zesty. It's just hectic, bro. It's hectic. But I got a gun as burgers, bro. bro. I'm eating the whole burger. I gotta eat four burgers in the next hour and a half. Let me relax. Thank God. You know what? Clean my mouth for you. It's been the fashion over the last five years. I think the American way is to make the burgers ridiculous. Like the size, the amount of things on it. And don't get me wrong, maybe one or two of the burgers we're gonna have, maybe, or maybe not, they might be those type of burgers. But you know what I really appreciate? Simple burgers, but everything is correct. All there is on it is chicken, lettuce, cheese, sauce. But Every one of those things is perfect. You know, there's like a million things. You get a chicken burger, it's got this, it's got that, it's got this, it's got that, it's got five of these falling off the side, it's got one of these coming out of its ass. And it doesn't make it better just because you make it bigger and uglier. You get what I'm saying? So it's gonna be a balance here. I know I know Canterbury kebabs, they got the simple ones like this too. This is a good starting point, bro. This is a good starting point. Wow, the chips. Their chips are hectic. If you come to Frango's and you don't get chili mayo, Give yourself a snap kick. Don't go to Frango's. Don't go to Frango's. If you think you're going to be a bogan and go to Frango's and just say, oh yeah, nah, none of that fancy sauce. Just go to Macca's, you dickhead. Just go to Macca's, bro. Get up. Exit, the, exit the show right now. Change the channel. Burger, chips and drink. Heaps of chips. 15.50. Good price for 2023. 
He's probably looking through the gaps now. He's probably looking, he's looking through the gaps, bro. His little eyes. I mean, what are they doing, bro? Nobody told me ABC was at the front. It's so nice. I can't eat anymore. These are my last, the chips. My last bite of the burger, I promise, all right? If I wasn't going to all these other places, I'd polish two of those combos right now, but I'm holding back, bro. Otherwise, we'll end up like donuts. We'll get to the last place. <laughs> I hate chicken burgers lies. I throw it on the floor and go get a milkshake or something. <laughs> oh, bro. All right, all right, that's it, we're done. Where are we going? Waterloo? Nash Brothers Waterloo, let's cut. Go away. Super Nash Brothers. Apparently we're in Waterloo. This isn't Waterloo. I know people that live in Moore Park, they like to claim that they're in Waterloo, but you're not. You're in Moore Park at Zetland at best. Wherever we are, Moore Park. Hey, imagine Waterloo actually look like this. <laughs> Boys, where are you from? 2017, bruh. Have a look at it, bruh. Hey, where is this place anyway? Bruh, don't get seen, bruh. You're being red hot already, bruh. Get away from me, bruh. You beat nah, Gene up. Gene up, bruh. Come on, bruh. Come on. Gene up. Oh, it's there, it's there. It's like, go away, bro. Get in here, What is it? Is it Asian? Why does it look Asian? Anyway, I'm going in there, bro. If I come out with some fucking sriracha stupid shit, I'm going off, bro. Super Nash up, bro. He's like, let's go, bro. Get in bro. Get in. Get in. You're being full red on in the bushes. I look out. There's a red light on front of your camera, I don't think you know that. We look in the bushes and there's just a big bright red light looking at us. You'll chase, Baba. You're being a full red ski, lad. Red light me, you're literally red light me, bro. <laughs> from the bushes, this guy. Fuck your camera off, bro. Go, all right, you got enough. <laughs> all right, Baba, I've got the handle, bay. Baba, it's Asian, Baba. It's an Asian burger store, anyway. Boom. Boom. But that's a little burger. What is this? What's this? Oh my lord, what's that? What's, what's that? Bro, I don't understand. It's the size of my car key. Look, what is that? The burger's the size of my EK and that, lad. I don't know, anyway, let's get on with it. $27, by the way. $14.50 at Fango's, $27. You know what it tastes like? Remember when I done hottest chicken wing? And those chicken wings all taste the same? That's it. This is it. Look. That's it. Just not as hot. It has the same taste. Which to be honest, ain't that great. But the rest of the burger's all right. The, the burger's all right. Look, let me say, I don't like, you know those American style, those American style burgers where it's a buttermilk bun and the chicken is like fully battered and there's a million sauces and this and that. It looks like one of those burgers. And I was spewing, I don't like those burgers, but I like the more like the healthier style burgers. Like our friend goes, you know where the chicken's not battered, where this and that. But having said that, I find a lot of those burgers, those American type of burgers, disgusting. They literally make me sick. But this isn't one of them. This isn't one of them. This, this actually tastes nice. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes nice. The sauce is really light and zesty, which gives it that contrast to that heavy American chicken style, crunchy this and that, that Southern style. That's what I don't like. That's what it's called. You know those Southern slaw, fried slaw, Southern fucking, I hate them, bro. I hate those burgers, lad. This doesn't taste that bad. It's all right, but I'll tell you one thing. Right? When you're eating it, you know it's bad. You know a burger, bro, fuck off then. Go away, bro, that's it. You know a burger doesn't necessarily have to be unhealthy. Essentially all a burger is, is a meat, salad, on bread. So there's nothing really that unhealthy about it. It, it just depends on the type of burger. It can be anything from a Bodgy Macca, it's just a really, really healthy meal. These burgers are not healthy. And you know it when you're eating them. You're halfway through, the amount of oil, the amount of like different fucking artificial flavors is just old. Even the bun, it's like some sweet bread bun. 
I don't like that, bro. The flavor's nice, but if I was starving, finish training, which I just did, I could go frangos, right? Pump two free burgers and not be sick. If I pump one and a half of these, I fucked up. I'm laying around mm, 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 like that anyway. The chips, the chips are stock standard. You know, if you go Maruba Beach and you go to the fish and chip store and it just tastes like fried chips, it tastes like that. There's nothing nice about them. Just taste their sauce. Come with a hot sauce. A really, really intense vinegar based buffalo sauce, standard buffalo sauce. A bit over the top with the vinegar flavor, to be honest, and not hot at all. I'm sucking it there. I'm not even tempted to overeat this one. I'm not gonna say it's bad though, all right? I'm not gonna say it's bad. If you just come from Frango's and then eat this, you'll be like, let's go back to Frango's. But if you're hungry and this is the first place you go, you'll probably think it's nice. Anyway, where are we off to next? Canterbury kebabs. Let's see if they can redeem themselves with their chicken burgers. Let's go, brother, let's cut. Hi guys, so we're at Canterbury Kebabs, right? AKA Canterbury Chicken Burgers, as they should be called because they're famous for their chicken burger, not their kebab. So here we go, wait here, I'm going in. Chicken burger combo, please. Yeah, yes please, yes please. Have you noticed that I haven't been pumping Coke Zeros? What's going on? It's the third place, Old Anjos hasn't got a Coke Zero yet. All bottles of water, lad. You know why? Because I found out that soft drinks add the pH level of acid to your blood, lad. And if you get one drop of alkaline into the bottle of soft drink, but it's not going on again, lad. That's huge. How's the neck, brother? Look at the neck flex on him. Look at the neck on him, lad. Warm, oh, lad, lad. Full neck and that, lad. Look at the full thickness of the acne on that, lad. Right, bruh. That's how I get around that. Look, look. Oos. Oos. Papa, cut, lad. Let's open this, bruh. Here, yeah, bruh. Sly little Aussie pay between the snarkishes, lad. Come between the snarkishes. Bruh, full got crates and all. What are you talking about? If I've got a crate and all, lad, it's going on. It's going down, bruh. It's going down. Got crates and all. Uh, this price, 22 for a combo, right? Chicken burger, chips, sauce and a drink, 22 bucks, right? Just to set set the price. Who, what's been the cheapest so far? Frango's, Frango's been the cheapest so far. You know what, puts into perspective how cheap Frango's actually is. 14.50 for the meal, you'll chay. But I think it's extra couple of bucks for the sauce, so it ends up being like 16, 17 with the sauce at Frango's. Oh lad, the sauce they use, the, the salt, the lemon one, that sauce. The salt, brother. The salt is the lemon chicken salt. You know, like they had, like I said, I didn't say nothing. These are my favorite chips. Wow, what a burger. So this is one of the simple burgers. This is actually very similar to like a Frango's burger, actually. Wow. This is the burgers I like, brother. Simple. Lettuce, chicken, cheese, and sauce. Exactly what I said. Go oh, away. That's gone, lad. That's gone. This is hard one. Flies galore, lad. The downsides are eating on a crate next to the toilet. <laughs> next to the toilet, relax. Mm. But these burgers are the gun. What's the last place I went? The burger was this small. What do you mean? The burger's a proper size here. This is hard, lad. Look. Although. When I say look, I don't mean zoom up on my hand. I'm saying look like retrospectively, like in in uh, metaphorically look. But this is hard. It's the same concept as Frango's in the same ingredients. Chicken burger, lettuce, chicken, sauce, and cheese. It's That's the best combo. It's very hard to pick between the two. They're definitely both ahead of Super Nash Brothers. Forget Super Nash Brothers. What is that? Get out of here, Super Nash Brothers. Hey, I've got to stop. Otherwise, we won't fit in the last place. What's that last place? Dougie's Grill. This and Frango's are winning. Which one? I don't know. I'll decide when we're finished. But them two are winning. And the other one, what's the other one? Why do I keep forgetting these names of these places, bro? Nash Brothers. Super Nash Brothers. It's an Asian burger store and they call it Super Nash Brothers. Relax, bro. You sound like WWE wrestlers. <laughs> 
Remember Kevin Nash? Big sexy Kevin Nash and Scott Hall Razor Ramon? That's Oge. That's Canterbury Chicken Burgers. We're off to Dougie's Grill in Bankstown last place, brother. Let's see who wins this. Let's cut. All right, we're at the last place. We're at Bankstown, Dougie's Grill, right? Dougie's Grill, we'll see what they're like for chicken ergers, lad. Now, get away from me, brother. Cross the road. Get off and get away from me. Hey, brother, how are you? Can I get the Dougie chicken burger in a meal, please? <laughs> full spot me, lad. You got the full imports standing next to you, spinning out. They're full spinning out, lad. What's this Amrak I had, like? <laughs> you know the further west that we go? The further west we go, the more they spin out on cameras. <laughs> they're full spinning the fuck out on you. They're full spinning out on you. Look, they're full surrounding him, lad. They're full surrounding him. Full imports, full surrounding him, lad, like. They're full staring. Hey, brother, what is this? What is this camera? Oh, what are you filming? This is very nice. You are filming the chicken stall. <laughs> yeah, so what is going on? They're full. <laughs> Take the camera to like Liverpool or something. The back of camera matter that we spin in the yeah. Who is here? Tom Cruise. Who? Tom Cruise in town. <laughs> All right, brother. I've come out with a fucking stack of less O's. Hey, we doing, mate? How are you doing? How are you, bro? Um, fucking food, food. Less O's. Hey, doing? How are you? How are you? The bloke. Look, I come out with fucking 15 burgers. The the bloke recognised me. Decided to make me. 30 burgers. I don't know what he put in here. And I was like, fuck. He goes, nah, nah, I'll make you this, I'll make you that. I'm like, fuck. Like, I was trying to hide around. That's why when I go to these food places and they recognize me, it fucks it up. Honesty, it fucks it up. It fucks the show up. That's why I stopped going into places. That's why I always do it in this sly way. It's the only way to do it. Because they're trying to be nice. Like, the bloke here, Dougie's trying to be nice. So he comes out, I'm just trying to get a chicken. I'm not even hungry, brother. I've eaten that many burgers. I'm just trying to get a chicken burger. He comes out, no, no, I'll make you this and that, I'll make you this and that. So look, look, look at all this stuff. What's in here, brother? Five, one, two. There's six burgers in here. I don't even know which one's mine. Slaw chicken. I ordered Dougie's chicken, all right? I ordered Dougie's chicken, so this is the only one I'm reviewing. But he put slaw chicken, Matilda, Wagyu beef, this and that, this and that. Uh, uh, 40 minutes later, Dougie's chicken burger, let's cut. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's not like American style, that's good. It's not the American style burger, that's good. Mm. This is different, very different to the other three that I've had. Onions, very oniony. This is the first one with onions. It's gone. I'm gonna pump this. Don't even ask me the prices. I wouldn't have a clue. They spotted me, so I don't even know the prices for you. I think the meal was, I think the burger meal was $22. I'm gonna do the wrap up, alright? I'm gonna let my cameraman can munch through all of these things. What is this, bro? Fucking hell. This is a hard burger. This, this is a hard one because none of them are shit. I think I know who wins. Straight out, I think I know who wins. I put Frango's first, without a doubt. Frango's is first, but their burger is, in my opinion, the perfect size. Mad Portuguese, they got the, the mayo chili on it, but the chili's like, it, it's home done chili. It's mad mayo, it's perfect size. It feels healthy, it doesn't feel sickening. It's a beautiful flavor. The chips are gone, the sauce is gone. Frango's wins. It's me, it's a tie for second between Dougie's and Canterbury Kebabs. Canterbury Kebabs is very similar to Frango's in the same concept, in that the burgers are formatted the same way. It's just, it's a bit under uh, Frango's, right? Say so Frango's has got, it's, it's like a unique chili sauce where uh, Canterbury Kebabs is the, the kebab chili sauce and it's still gone. Frango's is first, Dougie's and Canterbury Kebab second, and Super Nash Brothers, it's not bad. It actually wasn't bad. I've been to some of those, you know those American slaw burgers, chicken fucking deep fried this? Some of them are putrid. The one that I got at um, Super Nash Brothers wasn't that putrid. It was actually nice, but it's still coming in last place. Plus it was ridiculously dear. $27, the burger was that big. Come on, 
Like, you know what I mean? Anyway, that's Sydney's best chicken burger, bar. Frango's wins, bar. That's it. Let's hoge.